This is my last morning in Rome. We're about to head to the train to head down to Naples. We've got, I think, four days there, like including a couple travel days, and we're going to go do the Amalfi Coast. So let's just get to it. but we're like an hour early for our Airbnb, so we're just sitting by this staircase. I think we're up this hill somewhere, so hopefully we can check in a little early, but otherwise, just chilling with our cases. Ben has been sent to go find a bar because we've got so much time. Instantly, you can see like it's so different from Rome. So much older, very small streets. Uh, the air feels way more like beachy. It feels more humid, but a little cooler, which is really nice because Rome was like sweltering. Um, and once we get rid of these cases, I feel like there's gonna be so much we can walk to, but it's like not, it's not like big boxy stores. It's like small little booths everywhere. The Metro was also really cool. It had two stories. We sat on the bottom because we we're only going two stops but it's literally like two layers for like a subway. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you do look like one of the squirtles. Okay, we're here at our Airbnb. Let me give you a tour. It's actually very, very cute. And this was very reasonable. I think it was $70 a night, I wanna say Canadian. So we had to hike up a hill and then it's in this little quiet spot. Lime tree. And then it's just this. I'll close that. There's someone out there, actually. Just this little spot. Ben's having a shower. This, that hill was no joke. We've got all of this. TV. Okay, and then let's see if I can... I have way too big a feet for, like, <laughs> these little steps. Okay, and this is why I think we booked this one. It was giving me Kim K vibes. Look at the, doesn't it look so peaceful? Nice bed, little trunk, and then this is actually, oh, that's really loud, a little patio. I've already hit my head like twice. Okay. Lovely. I love the arches. The fact that it's two floors is so beautiful. But it was extremely hard to get here. We had to take the train from Rome to Naples, and then we took the metro, two stops, and then we had to march like through town and up the huge hill to get here. It's all cobblestone, super narrow roads, and very steep, so it took us if we could have like done it all together, we stopped partway and went to a restaurant. If we'd done it all together, it probably would have taken us half an hour. And everyone was saying it's like a really short walk. So Airbnb just, everybody either is a liar or they don't have a suitcase. <laughs> um, and we just have our little carry-ons. But even with that, I was like, this is a grind. So far Naples has almost like, I don't know. It's not the vibe of like a city like Rome. It's a vibe of a city kind of like some of the cities I saw in Thailand, just like really old, super congested, seems kind of hectic. So we're gonna go wander around and see because right now we don't have any plans for Wednesday. Tomorrow, or I think I'm losing track of days. Tomorrow we're going to the Amalfi Coast and then the next day we don't have any plans. So whichever day that is. And so we were going to do a day exploring here, but we kind of want to go suss it out and see if we'd want to, because it kind of looks like, I don't know, we'd either be like eating or drinking or shopping. Um, so we need to just go see like, what's the vibe. I also would love to go to the beach if we could, that would be really nice, but I don't know. So the other option is to try to do Pompeii. And I think we would just take a train straight there and then just buy like the pass to go in. So we just need to see if that's like possible. So we're gonna decide. 
Oh, there's a nice little desk too. It is quite nice. It's a little hot. I think there might be AC, so I wanna figure that out because I'm sweating, y'all. I'm wearing these little like shorts and I feel like they're getting one day of wear because it's so hot. But we're happy we're here. It's lovely. I feel like my jet lag is kind of coming down a bit. I slept for like off and on for maybe two hours on the train. So I feel a little more human. And we just had a nice little beer. Ben had some mussels. They gave us a little cake and a little limoncello shot. Um, yeah, people seem nice, seems busy, seems a lot more hectic, a lot more like very different from where we're from. So that's fun and it will be a good one to add to the list of places we've been. All right, I'm gonna go probably have a little rinse myself and then head on out. There's a note made for this. Casual castle. We don't know what this is. It looks like they're turning this into a metro station. So the moat's all full of like the piping and everything. guns but I don't think it actually was and then at one point I realized it sounded like someone broke in and I went down and our doors were not locked properly so I locked them and nothing's missing and nothing looks like it was touched so I think it was just like the buildings are really close but it was super loud so a little bit intense I had some trouble sleeping after that but I actually did get like a normal amount of sleep um, and Ben got like a full night's sleep. So I think I got like six hours, seven hours. So anyway, we have two more nights here. I'm gonna have to work it out. <laughs> the unit's still beautiful. It was just like, there was like a lot happening. Um, today we're heading to Sorrento, Amalfi, and Post Tano. I've wanted to see these cities since I was like, like 10 years ago when I first started watching YouTube, I would see travel bloggers go there. That was like the first thing I ever wanted to do on YouTube, so I'm really excited for it. I need to get ready. We're meeting our driver at like 7.50, so let's go. It's just a little busy this morning. Okay, we've made it this far. Sorrento, little beach club situation down here. Oh, I love those colors. Just a couple of coastal bees. <laughs> We're doing a tasting. Well, we are 
officially along the main road of the Amasi Coast. This road is long 65 kilometers, starts here and then in Salerno. Absolutely gorgeous. I got a little pair of shoes and a little keychain. We got the ice cream and the lemon. And now we have two minutes to get back up to our little tour and go to Amalfi. right now. <laughs> I'm joking that you're easy to find. <laughs> Found the best lemon perfume. I'm super excited about it. Got some more gifts for people. It's very cute. Got a little linen shirt dress. It's such a pretty color. This is an orange sorbet and it's incredible. Our day is done. We're heading back. I think we're taking like a less beautiful drive on the way back. I think it's more direct. And my phone's gonna die, so I'll probably try to get some more clips and then see you back in Naples. <laughs> I am back at our Airbnb. I am straight chilling after the best, best day of my life. I think I can honestly and easily say that. 
I have wanted to go to the Amalfi Coast since probably about 2011, I want to say. I found some vloggers way back in the day who were sharing their story and being there. And it just made me feel back in the day like it was such a huge goal and like it was something that looked so elegant and extravagant and expensive. And I really thought like I'll never get to do that until I'm like really successful. And so, no, we're not like staying there. We went on a day tour. We're staying in Naples where it is like significantly cheaper. And we're staying at this Airbnb that I think was like 70 Canadian a night. So between two people, that's like 35 each a night. So that's like how we rationalized the whole thing. And because of that, when we went there, I did some shopping, we got food, we got coffee, we got gelato, we got sorbet. Like we just tried everything. Um, and I like bought, this little linen shirt. I'm obsessed. It's really, really nice. I wore it out tonight. It was really, really comfy when we got back. I also bought like a white cotton button up um, in Sorrento. This one I bought in Amalfi. And then in Positano, I bought a pair of loafers. And so like it was a splurge day. Don't get me wrong. It was pricey, but it was like for something I wanted to do for over 10 years. It feels just amazing. And I tried to vlog as much as I could, but I also was like, it was quick when we got there, each spot we'd get to on the tour, they only gave us like an hour, an hour and a half. Um, some places like 45 minutes. Post Town, they gave us an hour and it took us like 20 minutes to like walk down to the beach. We got to the beach, like wanted to go in the water and then like to come back. So we were like right on time for every single thing and our group was already at the bus. Like people were going back early and we were like, dang. So I was trying to get vlog footage. Hopefully there's like a lot of really amazing scenery, but overall we went with um, Get Your Guide. It cost us each, I think under 200 each for the tour, which included an amazing lunch on this restaurant, like overlooking the ocean. Um, and it also included a water. We got a free tasting at the in Sorrento of like some different alcohols, limoncello, a melon one, we gotta try some chocolates and cookies. Oh, I forgot to buy the cookies. I'm thinking now they were so good. Um, and then we got to go on a boat tour, which like we didn't expect at all. That was near the end. That was actually in Amalfi and that did cost 15 euros more, which is about $20 Canadian. And it was so worth it. It was really beautiful. So the whole day, the trip wise, it was probably like around 200 each, if not less. And then I spent a little money because it was pricey. Um, but yeah, I, as we were driving up to it, I started like actually tearing up in the bus and I was like, wow, like I just can't believe that I've made that happen. I feel like that's that moment for me. And then maybe Venice will feel like that because I want to go there since I was a little girl. Naples, neutral. Rome, I never thought about going to Rome, so it was just like a special treat that it was so cool there and we'll go back there for a couple more days and it is really fun there. But yeah, I don't know, that's just the best day ever. The whole bus ride, everything was like perfection. So we had the best time. And tomorrow we've decided we're gonna go do Pompeii. We were gonna kind of wait and see like how we were doing because we're both tired and a little sore um, and covered in blisters, but we're gonna go do it. We decided we were like, we've got it, it's so close. And I don't really want to spend the whole day here. So we're going to go do that. And then the next day we head to Venice. So one more day in this vlog, then it will be the Venice vlog next, which I'm also really excited about. We don't really have anything planned there yet. We want to do a gondola, maybe go over to an island. Um, but yeah, today was like the big day and I'm sad it's over, but I'm also like so satisfied. It was so much better than I even imagined. And now the dream is to be able to actually like stay there for like a week and just live at the beach and wander around and just eat all of the lemons. We do have little piles of lemon souvenirs downstairs. And it's really funny. There's like a TikTok I think I saw that was like, if you're on the Amalfi Coast, don't buy all the lemon stuff because it looks really cute there. And then you're gonna go home and it's not gonna look cute in your house. And we decided that that was not true for us. So we're gonna have a little dish towel we got a little picture, like a little painting that's a post-tano painting. Um, I actually found the most amazing lemon perfume. I'll show you that. I'll do a little haul. Um, I've been trying to find one back in Canada slash North America for a long time, and I've bought a couple, and they don't last, and they smell bad. And this one smells like exactly like lemon. It's amazing. It's divine. It doesn't last forever. It's not like a long-lasting perfume, but I did buy two of them so that I can smell like lemons all the time because that's always been my favorite smell since I was a kid. 
so yeah amazing day i'll show you what we got later um but ben's drying now and then i might go do a little rinse and wash my hair so it can dry and then we'll go on our tour tomorrow i'll take you there down. We did a tour and it was good. Now we're going to go see like the amphitheater. Heading back to the metro and then we're going to rest a bit and go get some food. Our Airbnb in Naples is at the top of this like massive hill. And at the bottom, there's a lot for all to go. So that's what we're doing today. Then we go down this alley. And then we're down there. Cats, local cats. Oh, they're so sweet. It's okay. And we're at the end in here. Hello. This is the neighborhood pup. Hi, baby. <laughs> And we have all these, like, we think they're limes, but they're really, really big. You want to try one? <gasps> Just wants to play. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. <laughs> he wants to know what we've got. The first night we were here, all these, oh, sorry, it's flashing. The first night we were here, all these cupboards opened because, well, I was looking through them. And then I left and they were open again. And then I was running the dishwasher and they were open again. So I went upstairs and told Ben we had a ghost. And it turns out he was just pranking me. And that was also the night that we heard fireworks or whatever. Um, and it sounded like someone was trying to break in. So the vibes are a lot better now. But we have a prankster on our hands here. Okay, I wanna get, show you what I got on the coast. And this seems like my best possible lighting option. So we first went to Sorrento and Ben and I both got similar cotton weight shirts. Very light, very airy. Hopefully it will come in handy. Let's see if it's a little bit dark, hopefully not. Um, then we went to Postano. I'm gonna have to show you my shoes inside, but I got like a lemon gelato there. And then I got this, it's a little leather one. It's actually something I'll put on my keychain and use. So I like that. And then we went to Amalfi and I got two of these. It's a lemon perfume and it actually smells like lemon. It's amazing. And, oh, I have a couple more things actually. I got a little, um, what's it called? brain concussion brain i genuinely can't think of the word right now but you know what i mean um i missed these when we were in sorrento i also got a little like baggie for like makeup or money or whatever and then i got these lemon candies i think those were sorrento they're delicious i love lemon i got this truffle salt I only, I know I could get something like this back in Canada. I only bought this because we did this whole like tasting and it was super delicious. So I figured whatever. 
And then I got a couple of these little like dish towels. I think we'll probably keep one. I'll give one to somebody. Apron. <laughs> I got this apron. Um, and Ben also got some like mini ones for his nieces. Um, and that is the deal. That's my little lemon haul. And then I got the red linen shirt in Amalfi. I wore that last night, so you've probably seen it, but if not, I'll show it later. And then I got a pair of shoes that I'll show you too, and they are so cute. They were also from Postano. Postano, I spent like the most money because I actually bought like some nice things. Like, um, I guess the red shirt's from Amalfi, but Amalfi and Postano I actually bought like, I bought something nice at each place, but I didn't buy anything touristy except for like the little keychain there. And I bought the shoes and they say like Postano in them. And it was like a really beautiful leather shoe store. Obviously it's touristy and I could find probably similar elsewhere, but to me it was just really special and they're blue and they're so cute. Um, and I know I'll wear them, they're little like loafers. So let me go show you those. Okay, I gotta go quick because I'm letting our AC out. And um, they're these. They're just little loafers blue suede they're really beautiful um they say like that they were made there on the bottom and to me they're just really special because not only will i wear them they'll match everything i love like i love that kind of color of blue if for any reason chloe you're watching it's pretty much the blue i have a friend we talk about that there's this like shade of blue we're obsessed with um and yeah we also got ourselves a little picture for our house and then we got some other like gift things. So when we were leaving the bus, we looked kind of embarrassing. We just had like a little, a few bags of things, but once we consolidated it down, it wasn't so bad, but yeah, it's okay. All my shopping led me up to that moment because I knew I wanted a few nice things. I knew I wanted something nice leather from Italy. I knew I wanted like a breezy shirt or two, which I got too. Um, and I knew I wanted some little like lemony things because I've just wanted to go there for so long. So I got everything I wanted. I got my little lemon ice cream. We had gelato. I had, um, Ben had strawberry and I had blood orange. It was all just amazing. And now I have such a mess I need to deal with. Oh, I got this in Rome. I don't know if I showed you him. Isn't you funny? You can go watch that vlog, that's the last video. How can we bring a suitcase of cheese home? Okay, that's pretty much wrapping up our time here in Naples. We just went for a wander today. We're staying in Ponte Corvo, I think the area is called. And we live up this hill and down it and across the street in a square. And on the other side, we just found like all these really, my little buddy, all these really, really cool looking bars and restaurants and just like all the local people out. It's Friday night, everybody's out and about, it's super busy. Um, and it felt like a really cool vibe over there, but we need to deal with 
all these suitcases and we had to take the garbage open and figure that out because we had to like take it to some alley. Um, we just need to clean up. Tomorrow we have our train to Venice at about 11. So we need to get out of here at around 10, get over to the train station, um, lug our suitcases. That's why it's gonna take a little while um, down this hill. And then it's a five hour train, which is kind of a bummer, but it will be worth it when we get there. Um, this is probably the nicest Airbnb I think we had booked, so hopefully the one there's okay, but it, we'll see. We'll see what the vibe is, but I'm really excited to make that vlog. I'll share a little bit tomorrow as we're heading out. It'll probably mostly be B-roll though, and then you'll see me in the next city in the next video, so make sure you're subscribed so that you are here for that. Otherwise, um, some final thoughts. I feel like definitely worth coming here. The proximity to go to the coast and today to go to Pompeii was perfect. Airbnbs were really reasonable and really affordable. This one's beautiful location. Um, as far as things feeling like unsafe to me, the first night, because we were hearing all this loud banging, which we think was probably fireworks, um, that made me feel unsafe and just like getting into the vibe of the city. But as the couple days have gone on, doesn't feel really any different to me than anywhere else and when you travel anywhere you just want to be careful and not be like out partying super late and whatever so I think it's worth it it was nice would I come back to the city probably not I'd probably rather spend my money to go to the coast or to go to another city but it was worth seeing food was good um and if I'd had more time and we like had other friends or something going to that other area we saw today with like all the restaurants would be super fun so definitely nice worth seeing very affordable easy to come here um and i'll let you know how venice is in the next video